now, from the makers of Cold Water Elmo, it looked rather like a nightclub, and sounded like one too. Subdued lighting, music, girls, food, drink, and lots of businessmen. Well, ex-businessmen. Everything to your satisfaction, Mr. Jock? Oh, everything, yes. <laughs> Nothing you want there? Oh, no, thanks. Wine, women, and song? No police on my tail. Oh. <laughs> Who could ask for more? There is only one thing more I'd like. And that is? I'd like to see my wife's face if she knew where I was now. <laughs> the Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. story in which John Seed and Emma Peel continue their investigations into the mysteries that surround Happy Meadows and point out that assuming a false identity can lead to a grave charge. John Seed, with mother's approval, had continued to unearth even more trouble at Happy Meadows. Examining the headstones of those buried at Paradise Place, he quickly recognized at least four well-known financiers who had died just in time to avoid arrests by the police over shady business deals. When the coffins were opened, they were all found to be empty. Steve was baffled, so was Mrs. Peel, but she knew her job was to protect Helen Pritchard, who was somehow connected with the mystery. On the other hand, Captain Peter Cordell was free to pursue another line of investigation. He went to see Mrs. Jupp, widow of Jonathan Jupp, whose so-called death had started it all. I don't see how I can help you, Mr. Cordell. My husband's death was very sudden, and he didn't leave me well provided for. That in itself is curious, Mrs. Jupp. Oh? In, in what way? Well, you know, there was a great deal of money missing from his company. Yes, but wherever he put it, the secret died with him. You can't take it with you, you know. So they say. Um, a heart attack, wasn't it? That's right. I, I found him lying just there on the lion's skin rug. His head back on the lion's head. So, so peaceful as though he was asleep. He hadn't been ill at all. Never a day's illness all his life. It all happened without him any warning. And just as he was planning to take me away. Away? Away where? Well, he didn't tell me himself, you understand. But I, I overheard him talking on the phone to Mystic Tour. He, he was arranging a trip, arranging to go away for a long time. A long time? You heard him say that? Oh, yes, quite clearly. And he arranged this through Mystic Tours. You're quite sure of that? Oh, oh yes. Quite sure. But where was he planning to go, Mrs. Jump? He didn't say exactly, but it was somewhere nice, somewhere absolutely beautiful. What made you think that? Because I heard him say where he was going would be paradise. Absolute paradise. <laughs> the next move was pretty obvious. Captain Cordell looked up the address of Mystic Tours. It was a very small and exclusive travel bureau. Behind the counter stood one of the men who tried to organize breaking into Helen Pritchard's ward at the Huntington Hospital. His name was Shaw. Cordell approached and began thumbing through some brochures. Find anything you like, sir? Uh, oh, uh, not really, no. Yeah, how about our all-inclusive European junket? Nine countries in four days by coach. By 
coach in four days? The driver used to be a Grand Prix contestant. You don't have to get off the coach at all, actually. We provide written summaries of all the memorable experiences you might be lucky to have had in each city to impress your friends, you know. We even provide snapshots of you superimposed onto shots outside the Louvre and the Vatican. We also... Uh, no, 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 thank you. No, that's not what I'm after. I'm looking for something a little more, um, relaxing. An escape, in fact. Yeah, an escape from the cares of the world. Oh, actually, a bit more than that, um... Sort of business trouble, you understand. I'd like to get away from it all for a while. I'm somewhere cool. Uh, cool? Well, I... I anticipate a hot spell in this country. If I stay here, that is. Any other requirements about where you want to, um, escape to, sir? What I'm looking for is, um, paradise. Absolute paradise. Uh, paradise. Paradise. I was told you could provide such a place. I see... I think you'd better step into the other office this way, if you please. While all this was happening, Steed was reporting to Mother. Both looked extremely puzzled. But how are they doing it, Steed? And why? And who are they, Mother? And where are they? Well, graveyard dug up, looted, coffins all empty. How on earth? My guess is that it happens at night. There's no night guard at Happy Meadows. Oh, well, why should there be? After all, there's no reason to think that the inhabitants are going anywhere. No, but all the same, I... Hmm. Mother? Mother, it's Cordell here. I'm on to it all. Your what? Listen, I'm taking a big chance calling you. They're watching you the whole time. Who's watching you, and where are you? They're coming back. I have to go. I'll call you later if I can. Cordell, where are you? I'm on my way to paradise. What? Oh. Cordell! Cordell! On his way to paradise. What? Oh, well, then so am I. Bye, Mother. It took Steve a little time to get back to Happy Meadows. When he did, Mr. Happy Chap's perpetual smile faded instantly. He moaned softly. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Not again. I, I can't stand it. Now, listen, Mr. Steve. They're all staying where they are. All of them. It's information I want this time. Oh. Oh, well, that's better. What can I do for you? Well, if a man called Cordell comes here... Now, if he phones you... Cordell? I... Peter Cordell? Yes, that's right. How do you know? Well, he's already here. What? Arrived only a few minutes ago. Knocked down by a car, poor chap. His dying wish was to be interred in Paradise Plot. Are you sure he was dead? No respiration, no heartbeat? Ice cold. Yes, he was dead. Anyway, it's a bit late for that question. He's already buried now. Well, what now? A night vigil. See if we can catch the grave robbers red-handed. Now watch round the clock from dusk to dawn. Yeah, excellent seed, excellent. Yes, see the core and all that dedicated devotion to duty. He's little sleep of the wintry night. Well, wake me if anything happens, won't you? Mm -hmm. I've given the job to Mrs. Peel. <laughs> Emma Peel wasn't overexcited at the assignment, but having spent most of the case in the confines of the Huntington Hospital, she thought it might provide a little fresh air and action. <sighs> no action, but a devil of a lot of fresh air. Oh, it's all too terrible. My reputation is gone. Mr. Steed has destroyed it. We are not good friends at the moment, Mrs. Peel. I can't think what to do about it. Under any other circumstances, I'd suggest you buried the hatchet. But it would only crop up again. But why do I have to sit out here in the cold at night? Mr. Happy Chap, in all criminal cases there are suspects. You are in charge of Happy Meadows. You know nothing about it when four of your charges disappear. Now, don't you think... You mean... You mean you think... Mr. Steed thinks... Exactly. You are suspect number one. Oh. And this is your chance to clear yourself. Now, shift along the tombstone and spare me a bit more of the blanket before rigor mortis sets in. Mrs. Peel and Mr. Happy Chap sat out the dark, cold night, miserably. Unaware that only a short way away, their colleague, Captain Cordell, was truly making a night of it. 
Ah, hello there. Oh, Jupp's the name. Jonathan Jupp. Oh, Peter Cordell. Uh, new here, aren't you? Well, welcome to the club, as they say. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes, I've just arrived. It's quite a place. Oh, lives up to his name, all right. <laughs> you have the same reason as the rest of us, I take it? I, uh, I think so. Uh, trouble, trouble in the... Um, other world, shall we say? Yes, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, well, yeah. nothing to worry about here. Yeah. Plenty to eat, to drink, <laughs> lots of girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paradise, all right. <laughs> Everything all right, gentlemen. Are you comfortable? Ah, never better, Mr. Shaw. Oh, don't forget <laughs> if there's anything that you need. Uh, the only thing I'll need is a good long holiday when I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it all while you can. Hey, come on, Charlie. Let's check the exit. Yeah, right. May as well. Hey. Hey, who's this? Oh, Mr. Cordell. He's our latest arrival. Why, him? But he was at the hospital. He was the one who was guarding Ellen Pritchard. What? What are you talking about? What hospital? Look, I... I... But Shaw had already taken a revolver from his shoulder holster. <laughs> Old Tom and Bob, coming on duty through the mist and wet grass, found Mrs. Peel and Mr. Happy Chap, bleary-eyed, peering out from under the blanket. Uh, well, nothing happened. Here it is another day and nothing has happened. <laughs> All I've caught is a cold. Mr. Happy Chap, I've got an idea. What? Mrs. Peel's eyes went to a recently built mound of earth, which marked Captain Cordell's plot. Happy chap. Caught on quickly. Mrs. Appeal. I, I, I mean, Mrs. Peel, I appeal to you. But Mrs. Peel had already beckoned to old Tom. And some time later... Uh, ah, Mr. Happy Boy. Bob and me be as expert now at bringing them up as we are putting them down. Aye. To you, Tom. That's it. Uh, well, come on, Although, what you think you'll find, Mrs. Peel? Ah, well, there's one of them safe and sound. There, you see. He's still there. Still dead. Yes. Except this time, the cause of death is clear. He's been shot. Look there. In the middle of Cordell's forehead was a neat black bullet hole. <laughs> Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Brought to you by the makers of Cold Water Omen. The Avengers. Donald Monat as John Steed and Diane Appleby as Emma Peel is adapted and directed by Dennis Falbig and produced by David Gooden. <laughs>